Wedge Tornado The wedge tornado is one of the most feared shapes in the world of severe weather. Unlike the slim, twisting funnels you usually see in movies, a wedge looks like a massive wall of rotating clouds bulldozing across the landscape. These tornadoes can stretch more than a mile wide at the base, making them appear almost like a moving mountain rather than a single funnel. Because of their sheer size, they hide the point of contact with the ground, so people can't always tell where the core winds are hitting. This makes wedges extremely deceptive and deadly. The 2011 Joplin, Missouri tornado, which killed over 150 people and destroyed thousands of buildings, was wedge-shaped. Meteorologists say wedges often produce EF4 or EF5 winds, meaning they can rip pavement off roads, flatten neighborhoods, and even bend steel beams. When a wedge is spotted, the safest thing you can do is not to gawk, but to take shelter immediately. Rope Tornado At the other extreme are rope tornadoes, which look like thin, twisting ropes dangling from the sky. They often appear at the very beginning or very end of a tornado's life cycle, when the storm's energy is either ramping up or dying down. Because of their skinny appearance, many people assume rope tornadoes are weak, but that's a dangerous mistake. A rope tornado can still pack winds over 100 miles per hour, enough to knock down trees, tear roofs off houses, or toss vehicles around. What makes them particularly unsettling is how erratic they can be. The rope often whips back and forth, zigzagging unpredictably and changing directions within seconds. This unpredictable motion leaves strange and scattered damage patterns which can confuse even experienced storm survey teams. So even though they look less intimidating than wedges, rope tornadoes can be just as hazardous if you're caught nearby. Multi-Vortex Tornado Some tornadoes aren't satisfied with being just one swirling column. Instead, they break apart into several smaller funnels, called subvortices, that rotate around a common center. These multi-vortex tornadoes are among the most complex and violent. From a distance, they can look like one huge tornado. But up close, storm chasers sometimes capture video of multiple funnels whipping around each other like dancers in a deadly storm ballet. Each sub-vortex can have localized wind speeds much higher than the larger tornado itself, which is why houses next to each other may suffer totally different levels of damage. For example, one house might be obliterated while the one next door has only broken windows. The 2013 Moore, Oklahoma tornado was a classic multi-vortex monster, leaving behind chaotic destruction that baffled many people until they understood how these smaller funnels carve through neighborhoods. Satellite Tornado A satellite tornado is a minor twister that arises adjacent to a much bigger parent tornado. Nonetheless, it stays distinct from the parent tornado. Imagine it as a moon that is traveling around a planet in its orbit. These satellites are hazardous because they can form in a short amount of time, occasionally with little to no warning, while everyone's attention is focused on the major tornado. They may appear to be little in contrast, but even a lesser satellite, such as an EF-1 or EF-2, can uproot trees, damage mobile homes, and fling debris across fields. A very well-known occurrence took place in 2004, close to Harper, Kansas. At that time, storm chasers were able to record a stunning image of a big wedge tornado that was accompanied by many satellites that were circling it. For any person who happened to be on the ground, on the other hand, it was not breathtaking. It was absolutely horrifying. This is the reason that storm specialists advise that your safety is not guaranteed merely because you are located outside of the main route. Satellites can curve away and strike without warning. Stovepipe Tornado Stovepipe tornadoes are considered visually arresting due to their symmetrical, cylindrical shape. It seems as though nature carved a flawlessly vertical tube from the clouds down to the ground when one looks at them. Due to their clean, straight-sided look, these tornadoes are frequently considered the most photogenic by storm chasers, and they stand out in images and recordings. However, do not be deceived by the neatness of their form. If conditions permit, stovepipes have the potential to grow into wedges and can be quite devastating. They are typically able to generate enough strength to destroy structures, since their straight structure usually indicates that powerful, consistent winds are pouring into the funnel, 
Indeed, several renowned Tornado Chase video demonstrate stovepipes rapidly transforming into gigantic wedges in only a matter of minutes, providing evidence that what appears to be a straightforward situation can soon develop into something terrible. Cone Tornado When the average person hears the word tornado, the image that comes to mind is the cone-shaped structure that is the symbol of tornadoes. Cone-shaped tornadoes, which are one of the most often occurring varieties, have a broad base at the top and a narrow tip at the bottom. However, their appearance does not make them any less dangerous. Weak EF0 funnels, which are only capable of damaging barns and trees, are one possible manifestation of a cone. Another is EF4 monsters, which can level entire cities. The textbook appearance of cone tornadoes is what makes them so fascinating. The large top funnel that is visible to meteorologists indicates a profound relationship between them and the storm's rotating updraft, which makes them potentially quite powerful. However, to the typical person, cones almost look too flawless, as if nature had intentionally molded them with great care. They are symmetrically positioned against a sky that is dark and stormy, which is both hypnotic and scary. It serves as a reminder of how beautiful and destructive the atmosphere can be simultaneously. Water Spout Water spouts are tornadoes that spin over water. Rotating air columns absorb water vapor to form ghostly, spiraling columns that seem like fantasy movie props. Most water spouts are weaker than land tornadoes, yet they can kill vessels and coastal cities. Water spouts can become tornadoes and transport their destructive fury inland in rare situations. In the Florida Keys, tourists often film multiple water spouts forming side by side. Scientists divide them between fair weather water spouts, which are smaller and shorter lived, and tornadic water spouts, which are linked to severe thunderstorms and can be as strong as land based ones. Regardless, they're a strong reminder that tornadoes don't always respect land sea boundaries. Dust Devils and Tornado Lookalikes Finally, we have the Dust Devil which isn't a true tornado, but often gets mistaken for one. Dust devils form on hot, sunny days when the ground heats up quickly, causing air to rise and begin spinning. Most are small whirlwinds that kick up dirt, sand, or leaves, lasting only a few minutes. However, larger dust devils can grow surprisingly strong, with winds over 60 miles per hour, enough to knock over small structures or injure people. Unlike tornadoes, they don't come from thunderstorms or supercells, and they're usually harmless. But because they look like mini-twisters, people often confuse them for tornadoes, especially in rural or desert areas. Pilots and drivers sometimes even report them as funnel clouds. While dust devils don't carry the same destructive power as true tornadoes, they show how easily rotating air can form in nature, giving us a glimpse of the atmosphere's chaotic energy.